So how can we extract the files we want out of this? Well, Bash actually has syntax for this, which is pretty awesome if you've never seen it before. So files is right here. This is the array. This will expand to everything that we found. We don't want that. We want a sub array. We want part of the array. We want to slice it. We want to slice starting at I going for batch size. That means we'll start at the ith position, which will be zero, then it will be five, then it will be 10, then it'll be 15, then it'll be 20. And how many elements do we want? We always want batch size. We always want five out of it. When we get to the end and there's only like three items left, it'll only be three items. So our batch of five, you'll get at least five or at most five files, but at least one. That's what you'll get with this function up here. So this one just becomes process files and files would be every file as your argument. So you could just do this. Now we have an array called files in this function that we can iterate over. So we're still gonna sleep 0.01, but we're not gonna sleep 0.01 for each file. We're gonna sleep 0.01 for each batch of files. So this should be five times as fast, right? Let's go ahead and run this and make sure I know how to program and this all just works. How awesome is that? That was so much faster, even though the sleep duration is the same because there's five times less sleeps. The only problem here is look at this, the progress bar is 496 out of 500, 99%. That's because that's how far the progress bar was before the last batch. We never actually got the ending there. So there's a super easy way to solve this. Just copy and paste this line down here. 